at that yard sale there. I paid 40. I got Animal Crossing, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Metopia, Batman Return to Arkham, and Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii. Literally my only score today. Cool. Getting it for fourteen fifty four. Same game with two mics, right? Get yeah. So that was an epic score. <clears throat> I got this for less than fourteen ninety nine. So that's epic. Got the code in there. Got two mics. It was a gutted copy. It was considered new, but <clears throat> I guess it was just saran wrap like this. I don't know, there's a little damage on top, but hey, I got it. I swapped out that Slave Zero for a Switch Slave Zero because Chill Collects found a deluxe version. They're all out in my area. It is a gutted version, um, but I told him I'll trade him some stuff and so we're trading. Uh, and so he's giving me the deluxe edition and I just swapped out my regular version on the PS5 for the regular version of the Switch. There is a tear in the back, which kind of sucks. See it. And then what a score. Uh, I walked in there in the right time. Godfather complete and in fantastic shape. Looks like it'll play for sure. Um, the Witcher has all three discs. I'm not gonna bother opening that. And then look at this, saw oh, complete in fantastic shape so epic epic can't complain about that we got uh, rjc here i'm the delivery boy <laughs> uh gat cognac had some stuff for him and uh i happen to be driving back to easy so I easy gamer <laughs> <laughs> very cool so we got a mystery trade here so i'll show you guys what i'm trading gak right now so gak wanted Zombies Revenge, Code Veronica, this Neo game, and probably the worthless out of the lot is Centipede, and Evil Dead, which those are pretty banger titles. Not too banger, but banger enough. And then he needed the Dead to Rights, or no, not Dead to Rights, um, what's that called? That game. It's a fighting game, well, it's in here anyway. It's in the back. There it is. There it is. It's uh, the alive? the yeah, dead or alive. The back part. So I put it in here. So when you get messed up. So. Uh, all right. Let's see what Gat got me here. Do you want to hold the camera for you? No. Give me another Dreamcast. He probably did. How many of these things does he have? So he has like 50, 50 Dreamcasts, but don't have any games for him. <laughs> yeah, he was telling me he came up recently with one of his friends. Some of the stuff that he gives me it makes me want to collect for like retro. Like I want to now start collecting for Dreamcast because he gives me minty stuff, man. Like, got cognac. Shout out to you. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you very much. You know what I'm doing over here. But, yeah, that's another Dreamcast. This guy. So With good. dead or alive in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. What else? We got something else in here. What is it? That's PSP here. PSP. Ooh, Grand Theft Auto. Samurai. Something. Simple Legends. Yeah, Elite Legends. Action and Clank. All right, all right. Oh, the DS. He put me put batteries. 
Yeah, this is the thing. He was like, you don't, you wouldn't know how to appreciate this. And I said, probably not, because I don't it? collect for this kind of stuff, but I know what it is already. It's a Game & Watch. Oh, a Game & Watch. Yeah, yeah. It's I've cool. It's in really good condition. Yeah. I, know, I know it's worth some money, so I'm just probably going to I've never buy. seen one Unfortunately, person. Gak, I'm probably going to sell it. It is the original, oh. the very first Donkey Kong Game Watch. Game & Watch. Let's see if I remember how to open it. I used to have one when I was a kid, but yeah. It is. And he gave me batteries. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, Gak. I appreciate it. Awesome. Cool little trade. I'm going to be sending those Dreamcast games off to him. And yeah. RJC told me here that uh, Gak Cognac just gifted this to me. That's cool. That's cool. There you go. There's more. There's more. What is this? Game gear with a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Uh oh. Let's see. Got some NES games. Nothing great. Mm. NES games is pretty common. It's cool. That's cool. Batman Arkham City. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that. That's very nice. Very cool. Very cool. And he even has a stylus in there. Nice. Appreciate it, Gat Cognac. And there's some little drifters in here. Let's check it out. Let's see. That's funny. I have Game Gear games too. Ooh, nice Wii remote. I'm always looking for Wii remotes. Some N64 games. Some PS or um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo games. Very cool, very cool. Jeopardy, Jeopardy. Nice. Working out a little trade here right now, seeing what he wants. Um, so we're doing a little trade here. I got that Vice City, Eternal Ring, Phantom Brave, the Persona 5 Steelbook, and the Daxter. Daxter. Ah, I can't think. Uh, all those there, and he's trading me for these here. It's gonna be. Well, plus the. Plus the board. Oh yeah, and I and I owed him some stuff for Contra Four, and yeah. so Pokemon Heart Gold. It's just the case and the Manny, but I have the game and that. So cool little trade. So we're doing a second buyout because he didn't fully buy me out the first time. Uh, he's going through some stuff, see if we can come up on a number. So I've been here for four hours, and he decided that I owe him money for going through this stuff. All right, he did a little epic buyout. Some magazines or guidebooks that I had that he wanted to try to sell because he's never done books before. I told him it's actually pretty easy. But he got all this stuff here. He ended up paying me 420 420 uh -huh. And he gave me these grails as well. Um, obviously, I was looking for this. I am looking for this on the Switch. Um, this here, Heart Gold Case with the Manny and Resistance Burning Skies on the Vita. For some reason, I did not have this game, and I could have swore I did. But, okay, all the better. Can't complain about that. No, you can't. Thank you, Cody with a case, Stunt Devil. You're welcome. I'd like to thank RJC again for coming out. Kids are playing, eating some food. Thank you again, man, for everything. You're and uh, the ten dollar coupon from Macari, and I saw this listed, it's sixteen bucks. I, I paid like six dollars for this. Digiman story, Digimon. It's in there. Pretty cool for six bucks. Box is in great shape. I got that for two bucks, and I got those for Z-Man. They cost ten. They need to be washed though. At that thrift store there. I'm doing a little trade here. Got the original. Dan to rights. Robocop. Is this all the comics you have? Trading for this, and I'm paying a total of twenty-five. I'm getting Modern Warfare Two as well on the PS5. Uh, that worked out great. I did pay twenty-five bucks, but this thing is sealed. Robocop. The original Xbox. Pretty cool. I don't know what it goes for. They had it at 15 bucks, so. Do a little promo, trade these in. Paper Mario for free, these two. 
I got Paper Mario pretty much for free. MX versus ATV for $14.99. And I got Seed of Life for $5 off. I think it was $39.99. So, pretty cool. Um, I've been watching videos on this. It looks pretty good. I just got an offer up deal. Um, they had Bully and San Andreas and 360 in this lot. But he sold it. I offered him 40. He said, yeah. He didn't tell me until like maybe a quarter of the way through that he didn't have those two games. So I said, hey, would you take 30? And he said, yeah. So I came and met up with him. Oh, this is in here. I was actually looking for Max Payne for the P for the 360. That's one I'm going to keep. Battlegrounds. Watchdogs. We all know Deadpool is worth money. So, Mafia 3 and Battlefield or Battlefront. Killing Floor on the PS4 and the one I'm keeping, Max Payne. So, stoked on that. Good deal. Offer up ain't dead yet. I got some stuff that RJC didn't want to buy. Some stuff that I held back from letting him buy. I'm here at the local farmer's market and uh, we're gonna see what I can get. All right, so I'm trading Knight Rider, X-Men Legends 2, Two Crime Streets of LA, and Just Dance for Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and Street Fighter 6, which are on the most wanted list. So I'll get $50 store credit at GameStop towards Paper Mario. And then I have this. He actually wants to buy from me for 10 bucks. So that's the Halo 4 double disc. So pretty cool. Hey, thank you, man. Looks good to me. Silent Hill did look like it was improved a lot from the last time we've seen it. But who knows? We're going to the second GameStop. I'm taking back that Mario. Um, Paper Mario game. See what they got over here and see if I can get nothing, something with that credit. Look at that. That's something I would love to have. But look at that. <laughs> It's <laughs> cool. If there's anything on Xbox here, huh? The state of play was not good in my eyes. I did like the Alien VR game, as well as getting a release date for Silent Hill. So that worked out way better than I thought it would. I ended up getting uh, returning Paper Mario, and I got Star Ocean: The Last Hope. They had that marked at nine ninety nine. It's not worth that much, but it's just something I don't have for the PS4 or PS3. And then I got, um, I have to go back, good thing I didn't leave. But I ended up with $40 left over in store credit and this dude was gonna get $38 for this PS4. He just took my store credit card, my trade card, trade card for 40 bucks. So I got this PS4 Slim for $40 with like a brand new white controller. Uh, but it's sick, sick. So I turned Paper Mario into a PS4 Slim, which is ridiculous. We got a package from the Chill Collector. That's how it came in. Thank you, post office. All right. So I showed him one of my shorts when I traded him. And we hooked it up. Slave Zero, it's opened already. Why not? Let's see what kind of goodies it has inside. For people who do not know, Slave Zero is actually a Dreamcast game. And this is supposed to be its prequel. 
So we got some little art cards in there. That's cool. We got this little little comic book, little miniature comic book. Not for resale. Ooh. Another art book, digital soundtrack. Very cool. Very cool. Look at some of these monsters here. Very cool. And here's the game. Also has some goodies in here. Wow. Oh, some codes. A little guidebook. Well, it looks like I'm going to chill and collect right now. As well as Condemned 1, which honestly... I have Condemned 2 on the PS3 and do not have Condemned the first one on any platform. So really cool to be able to add that in. So I appreciate you, Chill Collects. Thank you for the trade. Hopefully you like your stuff and it gets there safely, unlike this box. But good thing the games are in perfect shape. So much appreciated, bro. Overall, pretty solid on add-ins couple switch games got the double copy of that slave zero you know me and that double dipping shout out to our jc media for the hard gold case and some other little bangers in here um this is everything i'm going to be adding in got that sealed robocop dead to right saw condemn thank you chill collects the witcher godfather max Payne 3 i've been waiting for that and i found that recently um Kingdom Majestic. Never heard of it. Looked interesting. I really like the, the pixelated art style that I saw on the back. So I decided to pick it up. I don't even know what it's about. So MX ATV $14.99. See the life for five bucks off of uh, $39.99. I got that by doing that little uh, Paper Mario flip. I also still kept the No Man's Sky. It's sealed. And I also kept the other Paper Mario. So I have two copies of Paper Mario right now. Um, I did find that over at the GameStop a little further away from me. I could have swore I had Resistance Burning Skies on the Vita, but I didn't. So um, shout out again to RJC for that. Um, but yeah, solid add-ins this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. Much respect to all of you, even the haters. <laughs>